I would have never guessed that county officials would make more than state officials, especially the governor. Per? Per year. Per person? Per person. Whoa, I didn't know that. Yeah, is that a little bit overpaid. I think Congress, they only make about 200 and something thousand, and uh, senators, what do they make about 200 and something thousand? My God, why? That would be fine with me as long as I could see money going into county projects, such as roads. There are roads that look like they haven't been serviced in years, 10 years or more. And then they will come and just patch potholes that are potholes again in another month. That's pathetic. I think that's a little controversial, isn't it? Should be controversial. That should be revisited. Well, I mean, I feel like they had to work hard to make their way to get to a point like that. If you make a career in anything, you work hard enough and work your way up. Yeah, I believe you're entitled to a higher pay than somebody who would be at the bottom. Works the same way in the military. The longer you've been in and the more experienced you are, the more knowledgeable you are, the more you get paid. Uh, hmm. That's a good question. So do I think it would be fair if the highest paid military uh, official was getting paid less than a supervisor of a county? For county officials to make that much money, they ought to be doing a little bit more to make life a little bit more bearable for its residents. That's a big disparity to see little as far as projects being complete. That's a slap in the face. I am that other person. You know, before I answer that question, I'd have to research and look into what a supervisor of the county does for his or her county. I, I can't answer that biasly, especially being part of the military. Every day in the military, in law enforcement, you never know whether you're coming home. And I was injured on the job. As far as pensions are concerned, even be, being injured and governed by the Americans with Disabilities Act, I don't make that much money. Who votes for the vote for the pension? They the supervisors or within themselves. So it's not subject to it's not subject to popular uh, vote. How did that happen? Oh, okay, so you're saying then so. they get the inheriting at birth. Right. in the county is $4,600 per child? Per child. So, by them being born into debt, you're saying that um, they're gonna end up having to pay taxes Higher as, taxes they, than what as they grow up, right? That's absurd. It, it countermands what everyone will stand up on the podium and pound their fist. Uh, our children are our future. It sickens me, especially having two new grandchildren born recently. I, I feel like that a lot of the tax money just goes to gentrification, trying to push the more poor population out of certain areas. Just further dividing the gap between the poor and the rich, you know, and I think that's uh, it's quite unfortunate. It seems that every ballot that comes up, there's a fraction of a cent that we uh, agree to be uh, paying in taxes to do X, Y, and Z, but we never see X, Y, and Z come to fruition. The problem is, is that, you know, most of Cali most San Bernardinians are commuters. If they're young, they're working in the fast food chain, they're going to school or doing something that doesn't give them the time to attend or get me become informed about these things, you know. And if you're on the road, like, you know, if you're on the road commuting, LA and so forth, my God, that's the hours one way, and that's six hours a day, so how do they get a chance, opportunity to go to these places and vote and become informed and so forth? I don't know how you're going to address that issue. I, I think that everybody needs to be more involved with, with their local politics, um, as well as the politics of the country. I think that people need to have more of an open mind on both sides. It's easy to hear the news on TV and say, oh well. My vote's not going to count anyhow. I go down to the county, they're not going to listen to me anyhow. If I try to get on the agenda, I probably will go and sit all night and they'll give me 30 seconds to say what I say. I'm ready to go down and 
be the squeaky wheel, see if we can get anything done. And that's what it really takes. It doesn't take having another leader to rally us. We all need to be concerned. If we're not happy about something, we need to do something about it.